This is amazing. Now we are going to see about podcast chat app. Imagine you have multiple podcasts and you want to convert that to an chat application in which you're converting a speech to text and we are going to use grok for that and finally you will create a user interface like this when you type a question tell me about ai demos it's going to query the transcription and then give you the response even you could have hundreds of podcasts but still you should be able to process that into a qa app so initially when you have the podcast mp3 that will get divided to mp3 chunks then that will be transcribed from speech to text and finally we are able to ask questions in technical details once after the mp3 got divided to chunks then we use whisper model to convert speech to text then that text is converted to text chunks then it will get converted to embeddings and stored in pinecone then we use that information to ask questions similar to a rag application that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about podcast chat app. In this we are going to use Whisper, which we are directly loading from Grok and we are going to make it as a rag application. As you can see here, Grok has its speech to text model that is Whisper Lodge version 3, which you can use directly via the API. This is going to be super fast. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to create a basic podcast app, then advanced using multiple mp3 files and finally create a user interface. where you can ask questions and here we are using streamlit but before that i regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my youtube channel so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you so first step we need to create our account in pinecone that's where we are going to store all our embeddings which is used in our chat app so create your api key from this area next we are going to create a new index so in that we are going to name it as twist transcript here the dimension we are going to give is 384 this is based on the model which we use for embedding we will be using all mini lm version 2 for embeddings and finally click create index coming to our terminal export your pinecone api key like this and then click enter next export your grok api key like this and then click enter now we need to install python packages so pip install grok langchain and all these packages with streamlit so we are going to use streamlit to create our user interface so i'll put all this information in the description below now click enter now create a file called app.py and let's open it so inside the file from grok import grok then os pandas numpy audio segment token text splitter document from langchain pinecone vector store sentence transformer embeddings next we are going to define the client that is grok with grok api key next we are defining the model that is whisper lodge version 3 that is the model which we are going to use to convert from speech to text next the basics so in this first we are going to create a basic app next advanced app and finally create a user interface so in regards to basic app we are going to create a function called audio to text where we are going to convert audio to text using whisper then secondly we are going to ask questions from that audio transcript so basics 1a audio to text so in this function we are opening a file and that mp3 file is using whisper to convert from audio to text finally we are returning the translated text so the audio which we are going to give is about a podcast about grok's ai chip it's in the same folder next we are calling the function audio to text and we are going to print the first 2000 character now step number 2 is ask questions from the audio transcripts again we are going to define a function called transcript chat completion so what this does is it's going to get the transcript then the user is asking a question which the large language model is going to respond based on the transcript provided so we are going to use llama 3 70 billion parameter model and finally printing the response so it's same as a rag application where we are providing the context and asking question So based on the context the large language model is going to respond and this is the question which we are going to ask explain the importance of fast language models and then calling the transcript chat completion function so this question is then passed in this area and the translation text that is the transcript which will be passed to this area that's it we have completed building our basic app in which we are converting the audio to text and then we are asking a question from that transcripted text Now I'm going to run this code. 
in your terminal python app.py and then click enter and here is the transcription this is much more faster than other models it took approximately five seconds to transcribe this so this is the whole transcription at the bottom we can see answer for the question which we asked about fast language model it can make interactions feel more natural and human like so this is all successfully running now now we are going to create an advanced app where we are going to import multiple mp3 files or multiple podcasts and convert that to text and finally ask questions so in this we are going to convert the podcast mp3 to multiple small chunks then convert that to text then that is divided to text chunks and then finally got saved in pine cone as embeddings then we'll be ready to ask questions so here we're going to follow five simple steps first preparing the podcast loading episode metadata transcribing storing in pine cone and finally querying that is asking questions so step number 1 preparing podcast files so even in the same file i'm going to extend this further for simplicity so preparing podcast files here i'm defining the mp3 file folder mp3 chunk folder chunk length overlap so mp3 files folder is a folder which contains all my podcasts and that will get chunked and stored in mp3 chunks folder make sure you create a folder called mp3 files and mp3 chunks before running this code so if you see my folder structure i've already created mp3 chunks and mp3 files folder so inside mp3 files i have two mp3 podcasts so you can have multiple podcasts and this application simplifies the process of converting podcasts to text and then asking questions based on the discussion in the podcast now next step is to create a function to split the mp3 file into chunks so here you can see is reading the file based on the chunk length and overlap it's dividing that mp3 to small chunks and saving that in the mp3 chunks folder now we are defining print output equals true then looping through all the files within that mp3 file folder and calling the split m4a function which is this function so this is where we reading all the files within the mp3 file folder and passing that information to split m4a function so split m4a function can process one mp3 at a time by looping through this it can go through one by one now step number 2 that is loading episode metadata in this i already have a episode metadata.csv here you can see multiple podcasts but i'm going to use only two podcasts so this data will be matched to my uploaded file for reference so here you can see my file name on the left hand side published date and episode metadata so next we are listing all the chunked files within the mp3 chunk folder now using pandas we are adding the file path and also episode id we are matching that together now episode df and we are merging both of this information so that we will have reference so even after dividing those to chunks we will still know what is the original title of the podcast next printing the top 10 for our reference in our case only 2 is there so everything will get printed out now step number 3 transcribing which means audio is going to convert it to text 2c transcribing here we are going to use text splitter chunk size and chunk overlap next define the documents as a empty list next count is equal to 0 the next step we are transcribing audio to text here then the transcribed data is divided into chunks and for each chunk we are giving the source that is the date and also the episode title so that every single chunk will have the reference to which podcast it's coming from so that's exactly what this function is doing so if you see here in our current step we are converting that to text speech to text using whisper then that is getting divided to text chunks using text splitter now the next step is to convert those to embeddings and storing that in pine cone so that is storing in pine cone step we are printing the transcription chunks for our reference and here storing transcription in pine cone that is the step which we are going to do here we are going to define the embedding model that is all mini lm l6 version 2 and this is why we define the dimension in pine cone to be 384 so if you change that embedding model you might need to change the dimension here accordingly because each model will have different dimension next define the pine cone index name that's what we gave there next 
doc search equals pine cone vector store from documents. Here we are providing the list of documents which we chunked here, then the embedding function that is sentence transformer embeddings and this is the model name and index name that is the twist transcripts. That's it. This will automatically get the embedding saved in pine cone. Now final step is to querying that is asking questions based on the podcast. Querying the vector database, we are asking a user question that is tell me about AI demos. Next, getting the relevant documents using doc search dot similarity search function. So based on this question, we are searching for relevant information from Pinecone. Next, we are combining those retrieved documents and saving that in relevant transcripts. And finally, we are calling the transcript chat completion function. This will use this question and the context to give you the final answer. That's it. As a quick overview, we divided those mp3 file into chunks. Next, we loaded the episode metadata. Third, we converted those chunked mp3s to text. Then we stored those transcription in Pinecone as embeddings. And finally, we are asking question relevant to the podcast. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now I can see it's transcribing. It's splitting episode ID and this is the ID. Here you can see the chunks getting stored in mp3 chunks. Now splitting episode ID this, based on the chunk size we gave, it's splitting those information. And here all our mp3 chunks got mapped with the metadata which contains the title of the podcast so that we have it as a reference. Now 22% of transcripts processed and total number of transcription chunks is 70. And finally everything got stored in Pinecone and we got the answer for the question which we asked here. Even when we see the twist transcripts in Pinecone, we can see all the data available here. Now we saw about the basics and the advanced. Finally, we are going to create a user interface based on that. And here's the code, which I modified slightly. Here I'm retrieving directly from Pinecone. So here I'm using Streamlit. I'm directly calling the Pinecone vector store with index name and embedding. I got the same transcript chat function as before. And this is the only difference where I'm adding st.title, st.write, st text input. That's the only text input. And here I'm providing the relevant documents searched from Pinecone. And that information is then passed as context to the large language model. And finally, we are returning the response. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, streamlit run ui.py and then click enter. Now it's loading my user interface. And here is the user interface. I'm going to ask about Llama 3 discussed in the podcast. And I get an answer like this. This is exciting. Now you are able to upload any of your audio files or podcasts and create an app like this where you can ask a question and get an answer. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.